All right, if you haven't heard, tomorrow is another KDK First Alert Weather Day. Meteorologist Mary Hours in for Ray tonight to tell us what we can expect. Hey, Mary. Yeah, Ray. I'm not Ray. <laughs> Ken. There you go. Yeah, we're looking at storms rolling through very early tomorrow morning. So the biggest problem is we're looking at a heightened risk for tornadoes, but also flooding. It's a very similar setup to what we had on Wednesday. So we had five confirmed tornadoes, and right now it's still pretty warm out there. It's 80 degrees, so we have that atmosphere just getting all of that fuel, but also looking at a few of those isolated showers rolling through overnight. So areas to the north, north of Newcastle north of I 80. You could see some heavy downpours very early tomorrow morning, and that's why that flood watch. It's actually been extended further to the north. This starts very early tomorrow morning, goes all the way until two o'clock in the morning on Sunday. So this system's going to slowly cross the region, so it's going to be an all day event. There will be some dry time, some dry slots and windows that you can enjoy a little bit, but you need to make sure you're staying weather aware, have a backup plan in place if you have anything going on outdoors. We'll see those rain showers, light showers about four to even about eight o'clock and then it's going to pick up. We have those strong to severe storms, the time frame noon to even about 11 o'clock. So models still kind of ironing this out, getting all the details, but the biggest threat that we know it's going to be wind damage because of that shear. We also have the risk of hail. Flooding is a big concern because how slow these are moving. And again, a tornado cannot be ruled out. So we're still very mild right now, mid to upper 70s. It's going to be very hot. It's going to be humid tomorrow. And then if we see that sunshine, that's just going to add more fuel to the atmosphere as well. So just looking at that heavy rain about eight o'clock for places like Newcastle and then we'll catch a little bit of a break. So yeah, you'll see us some sunshine around three o'clock in Pittsburgh, but these again will mostly impact some areas to the north first and then that's going to slowly move to the south off to the east Butler County, even looking at places into Punxsutawney. You'll see this four or five o'clock and then this line continues to pick up and move to the southeast So seven, eight, nine o'clock. We still have these storms rolling through and lingering south of I-70, so I wouldn't be surprised if Green Bay at County get included in that flood watch at some point tomorrow. By Sunday, we quiet down, we dry out, we catch relief, but it may be a cleanup day for some folks. So rain showers early tomorrow morning, storms through the evening, especially Newcastle. You'll see this first. It's going to be hot, it's going to be humid, and then Latrobe, you'll see these through the second part of the day, lasting till possibly right around midnight. So we catch relief from the humidity. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday looks great, and then the humidity's back midweek. So 60 8 tonight, mostly cloudy overnight rain, and then looking at that KDK first alert weather day again tomorrow. Stay weather aware. 79 Sunday, 76 sunny Monday. It's gorgeous. Mid 80s on Tuesday, and then we're near 90 on Wednesday. Another round of storms, a hot 4th of July near 90, and then low 80s on Friday with a few scattered thunderstorms.